welcome back to the Cool Fear channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, the information on the channel is for doll collectors and not children. And what's that, guys? It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Because today we are going to be taking a look at the Mezco Man of Steel Superman figure. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Shout out and thank you to channel sponsor Entertainment Earth. Check out my Entertainment Earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out some cool figures, get some free shipping, and help support the channel. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into this review, guys. So yes, today we are taking a look at the brand new Mezco Man of Steel Superman. Now it seems like Mezco is finally just saying here, here are some great comic adaptations of these iconic characters, jam-packed with a bunch of accessories. Now leave us alone so we can focus on some more stuff because much like the recently released Wolverine Steel Box, this guy comes jam-packed with so many things in terms of alternate heads, alternate hands, accessories, uh, just like that one did too. You know, that one came with so many different just looks for his head sculpt plus different hands, effects, so much great stuff. Um, and unfortunately, what comes with these larger quantities of accessories, hands, and head sculpts is obviously a larger price. So this did retail at 125 uh, plus shipping and tax, obviously. However, I personally found this for an amazing deal on OfferUp. If you want to find out all about that, go ahead and check out my offer of buying video. It's something new I'm trying on my channel, but yeah, I'm trying to see if it goes anywhere. But if you're interested in checking it out and seeing how much I paid for this guy, uh, you know, despite him being brand new, go ahead and check out that video up on my channel now. Uh, if I remember, I'll try to remember to link it up in the corner. But with that being said, guys, uh, yeah, this guy is brand new, jam-packed with so many great stuff. So uh, he is not based on any real you know actual superman actor likeness uh he's essentially just a comic book superman you know and i feel like they really started this trend uh with the batman and the two-face comic two-pack you know they jam-packed that batman with so many great accessories and he's so uh original golden age comic accurate that it's like you don't really need another batman to fill that spot and that's kind of the case with this superman and i've heard what people have said about his size you know and i have to agree he is a bit on the smaller side uh but you know i i do wish he would have been on a larger buck and you know bigger chest and all that uh but we'll take a look and talk about that more in depth when we go ahead and pull him off the rotating turntable uh, and take a closer look at him so he does come in that amazing steel tin box right back there as you can see it's one of the larger ones much like the last wolverine like i said uh because he does come jam-packed with so much stuff guys so enough talking about how much stuff he comes with why don't we go ahead and start taking a look at all the great stuff that he does come with so he does come with a total of seven different heads guys seven so the one that he is currently utilizing on the body is the one that he does come in package just like he does come in package with those fisted hands as well just keep that in mind when we go over hands uh so the first alternate head sculpt that we do get is this one right here where he's a little mad he's he's stern he's not you know pissed off furious just yet uh but he's getting there you know he's he's like dude don't fucking test me you know so uh he's getting there although obviously the big blue boy scout has his moments where he's a little more on the cheery side here he's like all right you know batman's being a little cheeky he's like all right that's that's cool um but you know it's it's not always the case with this guy and sometimes batman does some stuff that really shocks the shit out of superman as you can see obviously uh so but the really cool thing about these head sculpts is that they're just well done in general like the hair is just very well nicely done i like how they give them that swoosh the superman swoosh but it's kind of hidden in some of the head sculpts they're not all the same in terms of the hair if i pull these two together as you can see uh the hair are two separate different molds this one has more of that s you know classic superman s hair uh, whereas this one it's more you know wind swept into the rest of his hair um same thing with uh the smiling one it has more of that curl in the front right there only because you know he's smiling he's happy whereas here he's probably in the heat of battle 
and uh, he's uh, you know really struggling so next up we do have him all pissed off and this this is not what you want to see on Superman because that's when you know you're fucked that's when you know you're you're you really fucked up and you're gonna be paying for it so next up let's go ahead and take a look at his light up head which is actually in my opinion a two in one head all right so here is the alternate light up head now the reason i say this is more of a two in one head is because if you look at the eyes they don't look red they look more blacked out which actually goes in line uh, with one of the accessories that he does come with which we will talk about uh, when we talk about that accessory but if you really look at it it looks like his eyes are just blacked out like he's possessed uh, like he's you know kind of brainwashed and everything and if you look here he does have that you know Superman swoosh in this hairstyle right here in this head sculpt but yeah they're all blacked out and it kind of looks like he's possessed this is the light up head sculpt so obviously it lights up so in order to do that uh, you actually have to pull this out from the head and put the batteries in which are included with this figure and they do include this nifty little mesco tool right here if you can see it has a little roach right there plus some gripping right there and a little hook uh, so that way you can go ahead and easily switch the head on and there it is with the eyes glowing uh, the effect looks better the further you pull it away the closer you get the more you can see like you know how uh, the lights are working on the inside and stuff but you can go ahead and pull it back and it looks way better so it gives you that uh, he's about to utilize his heat vision and there goes Superman toppling over uh, so yeah so that's a really cool head and the last head that he does come with is this uh, you know his eyes got torn out of his face and you know he's dying he's bleeding no I'm just kidding guys uh, this is actually to fit in these really cool blast effects uh, these really cool eye beam blast effects so you go ahead and just insert them right here actually uh, if you can tell there's these little lines right here on the top uh, that aren't on this flat side on the bottom and it's kind of hard to tell but if you can see there's little lines up there and it's flat on the bottom so you have to put the lines on the top side and uh, it kind of just fits right in right there and he has that heat blast which is really cool here's like his maximum he does come with uh another one that once again is kind of a two-in-one feature uh so uh these ones once again there's those two lines up top that you have to line up with the ones on the inside of his face so you have to be very careful with this one because uh it's two very thin beams that are thin plastic that can break so here he has just two beams right here making it look like he's just utilizing his heat vision but they also include this separate piece that you can also attach at the end uh, to these beams, which I'm trying to do on camera while also not trying to break them. Uh, so you can attach them so it looks like he's hitting something with his beams right there, as you can see. Uh, unfortunately, this head does not light up. Like In my opinion, this should be the head uh, that lights up. However, uh, this one does not. It's the other one, which, I mean, it works, but... I mean, this one should have been the one that also lights up. You know, maybe two heads that light up wouldn't have been uh, such a bad thing, but that might have also driven up costs. So uh, that's it in terms of the extra heads that he does come with. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the extra hands. But first, let me get Superman back on the rotating turntable. All right, guys, so we have Supes back up on the rotating turntable. So now let's go ahead and take a look at all the great extra hands that he does come with. So like I said, in package, he does come with those fisted hands. He does come with a pair of very close C grip hands right here as you can see very well nicely done human hands as always by Mezco next up we do get these kind of action grabbing hands like you know how you always see him grab somebody's chest and then you, like he shoves them out or he pulls them forward yeah that's basically what these hands are for and you can utilize that for uh, we do also get some action open slash kind of relaxed hands however you want to display them which are slightly different these are a little more curled in these ones I don't know if they're just bent awkwardly, but it looks a little more spread out than here. Uh, but yeah, you do get those. And of course, we do get some Superman flight hands. So that way we can get him into those awesome flight poses and put his hands right. So that's it in terms of the extra hands that he does come with. So now let's go ahead and take a look at all the extra great accessories 
that he does come with. So Batman has Arkham and Superman has the Phantom Zone. So we do get the Phantom Zone Ray in this set, which is a phenomenal accessory. As you can tell with this nice red beam middle right here and some nice different gunmetal silvers all throughout the Phantom Zone Ray. Such a cool and classic accessory right here. Next up, we do get some ricochets, some bullet ricochets, which are actually magnetic. Uh, these do uh, magnetize to his chest, and there's my dog's hair. Uh, but so we'll go ahead and take a look at these a lot better when we do pull them off the rotating turntable. We can get a closer look at those. Next up, we do get some effects for his hands. Uh, you just fit them in right there. Now, I'm not sure if this slit is supposed to be open or if it's supposed to be glued shut. Uh, but I think it's supposed to be open because even if I press down all the way, you can still see a gap in the plastic. So I don't think it's supposed to be pushed together. Uh, but we do get one for each hand if you want to utilize it for each hand. Next up, we do get a Starro, which does attach to the faces. So... You just hook it on right there. Wait, I think it goes this way. Wait, no, I think I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yeah, it's this way right here. So there you go. It just hooks straight on. It looks a little crooked, but we can get it a little better right there. Yeah, so there's Starro hooked onto his face. But of course, we do also get the Black Mercy. This thing is super cool, super gnarly looking, and the tentacles are on like a bendy wire system. Uh, the main ones right here at least. These ones, oh yeah, these ones are too, but uh, they're a lot smaller and thinner. These are the main ones that you would utilize to wrap around uh, one of the figures in order to possess them through the Black Mercy and stuff. Uh, so super cool, super detailed, like I said. It's all soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about dropping this and breaking it. Uh, it's all soft plastic, very well nicely done and detailed, very well nicely painted as well. I love all the different colors. It just pops really well. Uh, and the last real big accessory that we do get with this guy is his little kryptonite setup right here, which does come in package, like basically just all taken apart. Uh, so all the domes are removable and all of the kryptonite stones on the outside are interchangeable so you can put them in any order in any way um, but the green kryptonite has to go in the center it has a different cutout on the bottom uh, that it only has and it that's just the way it goes uh, but yeah you can't take the domes off each and every single one of them this would have been a really cool thing to have a light up feature in my opinion you know have all the kryptonite uh, pieces lit up However, it's just a hollow, thin piece of plastic that they kind of just sit on. And so, yeah, you know, missed opportunities right there, but also probably going to drive the price up. So that is pretty much everything that he does come with. Of course, he does come with the accessory bag that all Mezco 112 collectives do come with. And of course, he does come with his base. And of course, it is just that classic, classic Superman. Look at that logo. And of course, obviously, he does come with the flight stand as well. So that wraps up everything that comes in this amazing Superman Man of Steel steel box box set. Now let's go ahead and take him off the rotating turntable so we can take a closer look at him and his articulation. All right, guys. So here we have him up close to the camera so we can take a nice close look at all the amazing great detail in his suit plus his articulation. But before you get into all that... Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those ricochet effects that we do get, which are magnetic, like I said. Uh, so they do just magnetize to his chest right here. Uh, these ones are trying to, to attach to each other, but it is magnetic all on the upper chest right there. And it just shows off some really cool effect. I'll most likely be displaying my Superman with some ricochet effects. That's just super cool. Man of Steel. Man of Steel, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. Just your typical classic comic book Superman suit. Now, one thing I will say is thank you, thank you, thank you, Mezco, for not making the briefs out of pleather. Uh, it is the same fabric material as the rest of the suit, which I am super happy about. No, it doesn't have that glossy finish. No, it doesn't have that shiny look, uh, but it will last so much longer, and it won't get all wrinkled, crinkled up as you move the legs around. Speaking of the legs... Can you see those quadriceps through those leggings? Yes, the buck that they are using is quite muscular, I have to say. Uh, it's just not Superman muscular. 
I really wish the chest puffed out a little bit more. It was a little thicker, a little beefier. Uh, the arms are quite sizable. Uh, it seems like he just skipped chest day, in my opinion. And for him being Superman, that's just that's just not right you know when you take a look at his arms out here it's just his chest is just very out of ratio it's very out of scale uh, everything else is very large in proportion uh, but his chest just is not it's just kind of flat it's like what happened there he skipped chest day he didn't skip leg day but he skipped chest day uh, because look you can literally see you know the top muscle the side muscle and right here the other side muscle so and like i said his arms are quite sizable but his chest is just lacking but overall it's just a very classic superman suit we do have that classic superman belt right there superman logo in the middle of the chest right there and we do get a superman logo on the cape right here now the cape is wired on either end I don't get why companies keep doing this with Superman capes. Hot Toys did the same thing with the Zack Snyder black suited Superman. And I'm sure they did the same thing with the regular blue suit Superman. Um, but they only wire the edges of the capes. They don't put wires within the actual cape. So you can make it look all dynamic like this. And the middle is just going to be sitting kind of flat right there. It's not like you can pull it up and wire it so it's more dynamic like this like look at that that would look so much better but it just kind of falls flat so the cape does tuck into the suit kind of just like classic superman uh nothing to look on the back side other than the s on his cape because it's just an overall uh blue leotard or suit whatever you want to say the boots are nicely done uh yeah they're superman boots they shouldn't really have any other color than red uh wonder woman's would have a little gold at the top but his are pretty much all red is just maybe just a black line on this you know raised edge right here would have been nice just to kind of show some separation um but other than that very well nicely done just like i said overall classic superman so with that being said why don't we go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation he will look all the way to the right he will look all the way to the left he has really good head tilt he will look let's see that far up which is really good because you get him in some really good flight poses. Obviously a good thing for Superman. He will look down that far. Now his neck is on a different ball peg. So you can move it around up and down ever so slightly. Twist it and turn it. Uh, so that way that Adam's apple follows his head when he's twisting and turning. Uh, now you can see the neck peg right there. It does pop out quite significantly. Uh, you can try to put the suit up a bit. Pull it up. And it kind of does hide it somewhat. Uh, not too much because as you can see the cape tucking in kind of pulls out the suit this way so uh, Ideally, you know, it would sit like this But I think the only way you'd really be able to get it to sit like this permanently is if you glue it and uh, yeah I'm not gonna be able to do that. I have shaky hands and yeah, I'm just not gonna do it So yeah, let's go ahead and continue on with his articulation His arms will go out to a T pose and they are very stiff which is good because you know means he'll last quite a bit he does have a very stiff butterfly joint in there as well bicep swivel uh, his arms do come with double hinge elbows which allow him to go in that far uh, he will go that far back that far rotation at the wrist hinging up and down in and out whichever way that ball peg is facing rotation at the lower torso as well as at the upper torso right here and mine honestly feels really fucking loose when I twist them this way. Like, really fucking loose, which is really scary because I feel like he's going to break. Uh, he does have an ab cringe that allows him to go down that far. He does have an ab bend that allows him to go back that far. Like I said, put him into those really good, uh, you know, Superman fly poses right there, as you can see. Um, he does, oh yeah, we went over rotation there. He can kick out. He can actually do the splits. His uniform actually allows him to do the splits so he can join the cheerleading squad. He will kick forward that far. He will not kick back too far at all. He does come with an upper thigh swivel up there. He does come with double hinge knees, which allow him to kick back that far. Uh, no boot cut rotation, so his ankles will go down that far, up that far, and a ball rocker hinge. So that wraps it up for this guy's articulation all right guys so that has been my review of the brand new mezco man of steel superman steel 
box set. Let me know down in the comments below what did you think of this figure, and if you've made it this far, type down in the comments below Kryptonite. That way I know you've made it this far and you're enjoying the content. And of course, as always, shout out to the channel sponsor Entertainment Earth. Check out my Entertainment Earth affiliate link down in the description below. Hey, this guy might actually still be up for pre-order there, so check it out. With that being said, let's go ahead and check out some really cool pics that I took of this guy. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great fucking day.